guys, what's up? It's your girl Golden Jolene. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry, my hair is in my mouth. Um, excuse the hair, I haven't done it yet, and I'm not wearing highlighter because I like to put on highlighter last, and I'm kind of doing this video in a rush. Today's video is a review on this Natasha Denona palette. This is one of her five pan palettes. This is super pricey. I'm pretty sure I paid around $50. I don't remember exactly how much it costs, but this is an expensive palette. I remember telling myself it's like 10 bucks per shadow which I think is expensive. This is the first time I've ever tried a Natasha Denola um, product. I refuse to buy her big palettes because I have so many palettes that I don't think I need an expensive palette like that with colors that I probably already have. This is more of a first impressions, I wouldn't really say review because this is only the first time I'm using it. I did use four out of the five shades. The only color I didn't use was the blue. If you'd like to see how I got this look and what I think about this palette, just keep on watching. So I currently do not own any Natasha Denona products. This is besides this one, obviously. This is the Natasha Denona Holiday Palette. This is the Aries Palette. And this palette really called my name because it has all these warm tones in it. It has all these warm tones and it has that blue and I love blue eyeshadow. So this that's why I got this little palette. I've heard nothing but good things from Natasha Denona palettes and products and stuff. So I don't expect this to be trash or anything, but actually the complete opposite. I expect this to be like amazing as people say <clears throat> it is. So we're just gonna go into this middle shade right here. And I'm gonna use that in my crease. Oh wow, that's so pigmented. And I only tapped in there like once. That's blending out really nicely too. So I think that's as much as I want in my crease. I don't think I want to put in any of the color in there. I just want this like fiery orangey red shade. This is also the only matte shade in this palette. So next I'm going to go into this shade right here. Oh, these have names. This one's called Burnt Terracotta. And this one is called Red Bronze. So I'm just going in with Red Bronze with my finger. And the reason I use my finger so much is because I feel like it's just easier. Like you don't need to wet your brush and everything. I feel like a lot of shimmer shades don't go on as intense as I would want them to because the brush doesn't pick up the product and distribute it the way a finger does, if that made any sense. I just feel like fingers make the intensity way better than a brush does. I don't like wetting a brush every time I use it, you know. I feel like as long as your fingers are clean, by all means, use them to apply your makeup. Wow, that is beautiful. Like, I am really loving that. Now I'm gonna take the gold shade in this palette and that is called Peach Bronze right here. So we're just gonna put that on the center. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Ooh, ah yes, I'm digging this color. Okay, now I'm gonna use the white shade in this and this is called Nude. I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight. I'm also gonna use this as my brow bone highlight. All right, I think that's it for this look. I'm just gonna put on eyeliner and mascara and then I'll be right back to put my um, eyeshadow on my lower lash line. Okay, so I said I'd put on mascara, but I meant to say liquid liner and eyeliner in my waterline. I never put mascara on before I put on my lower lash line shadow. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with this shade. Um, what was this called again? Burnt Terracotta. I'm putting this on the outer part of my lower lash line, just right here. And I'm gonna take red bronze on the inner part of my inner corner, or my lower lash line. All right, now I'm gonna put on mascara and I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I did not put on enough mascara and that's because I'm gonna put on more later, I'm actually having a dance event so that's why I'm filming this video like at the last minute kind of in a rush but bottom line I think this is a really nice palette do I think it's worth like $50 um I don't know I think it kind of is I really love the shadows I did my eyeshadow really quick like in five minutes and I actually really like the pigmentation but I feel like I could still find colors like this in a different palette like 
from a different brand that does not cost $50 for just five eyeshadows, you get a lot of product. I do think the packaging is a little cheap. I feel like for a $50 palette, you shouldn't get just this plastic, you know, cover right here. I think you're paying more for the quality of the shadows. I do like the eyeshadow palette. I don't regret buying it. I almost told myself that I was going to return it, but no, I really like this eyeshadow palette. It's amazing. This is totally a lot more worth it, I personally think, than getting the big ones because you're still getting Natasha Denona shadows and not committing to spending more than $100. I love the palette and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!